working to assist and inspire nonprofits in Delaware. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Tom Kovac. He's founder of Assistant Inspired Delaware. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure to be here, Jill. Let's talk a little bit about the idea behind this organization because it's a nonprofit itself, but you are collaborating with other nonprofits as well. Absolutely. Uh, what I was able to see during my time in public office is really my passion for helping nonprofits and small businesses. So a bunch of us, after the campaign, we said, well, what can we do to maintain activity and involvement in public service? We thought, well, why not help nonprofits? Because uh, there's a lot of nonprofits out in Delaware and surrounding states, but they can't get their story out. They're not connected with the right resources, and they're not connected with each other. They could be helping each other out. So we thought, let's get a group, and through our efforts, we can facilitate, we can connect, and we can help coordinate efforts of our nonprofits. And let's focus on on how this actually works because you as a nonprofit entity are working on a variety of different things but you've collaborated with other nonprofits that are already making connections for other smaller nonprofits in Delaware. Absolutely. One of the things that we're trying to do is to avoid duplication of services. And we're trying to educate nonprofits so they're not providing duplication of services. In these tough economic times, resources are limited, so we can't afford to be duplicative. What we've done is we've worked with Dana, the Delaware Alliance for Nonprofit Advancement. Chris Grudner is doing a great job there and, and his new board. Uh, Fred Sears at Delaware Community Foundation. There are the established uh, nonprofit helpers in Delaware. Uh, DCF serves as an umbrella organization for, for nonprofits wanting to raise funds and can help them by, by servicing some of their administrative needs. And, and Dana is educating nonprofit board members. But we looked for the holes in those services and we said, where, what, how can we help our nonprofits better serve the people they're trying to serve. And let's get into some of the specifics because you want to listen to the needs of organizations. Many organizations that we're, we're talking about are actually smaller in nature. They may not have the back-end staff to support their services. They are just focused solely on their mission. That's it. And they're, 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 Jill, they're so focused on their mission that they don't have an opportunity to take a breath and say, is there another organization we could be partnering with, or two or three? And that's where we come in and say, look, you're doing a great job in this community for this food drive, but if you partnered with your other neighbor or you partnered with a claim on a community center who's doing the same thing, you could more effectively serve with less resources and less strain on your time. And we can connect them with the DCF. They're trying to do things on their own. Well, the DCF can ha uh, help administer their program so, and provide some of the administrative services. So that's the idea of listening, providing education, and also the idea of making connections between nonprofit entities. Absolutely. And I've been so fortunate to meet a lot of nonprofits in my time in public office, and I love it. And I'm going to, we're going to continue to do that. And we want this to be a network, not just the interns who are working for the nonprofit, not just the, the college volunteers, but a network. And I've been fortunate enough to meet a man, Kia Safani, and he is from Salisbury, Maryland, called, and he has a movement called Make It Matter. And we're going to connect with him, and we might bring that Make It Matter movement up from Salisbury, Maryland to Delaware. So keep an eye out for that. Again, we're collaborating in state, out of state, all as an effort to help our nonprofits. Is it an idea of finding best practices, sharing them with nonprofits, and really making a difference internally for these nonprofits so that they can work to serve more people? Absolutely. We're trying to uh, ease their burden on things that they're not experts in. We have the experience in connecting them with those resources. You ease their burden, they can focus on their mission without being distracted with the administrative details. And that's exactly what we'd like to do. And people can visit your website for more information, but if a nonprofit is watching and they want to reach out, they can do that as well. Absolutely. We're looking to connect the nonprofits with people, people with the nonprofits, and nonprofits with each other. So please please visit our website, www.assistde.org. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jill. We've been talking with Tom Kovac. He's founder of Assist and Inspire Delaware. I'm Jill Horner.